Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring. Uh, it's very cold outside and it's been raining, so <laughs> I'm happy to be inside here with HOA and uh, we're gonna do a nice pour. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have painted my sides and edges and I have taped and pinned the back. So that's ready to go. Let me show you the colors we're using tonight. After a long time that I've been out of it, I have finally gotten some more Prussian blue. That's our Golden's Prussian blue. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. My paint is mixed tonight with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and a little bit of Elmer's Glue All because I wanted to see if I could create more thickness in my paint by using glue and I didn't put that much. I had about two ounces of Liquitex, um, about an ounce, ounce and a half of paint and about an ounce of glue and then six or seven ounces of Floetrol. So and then I have added water actually to thin it out because I waited and it got a little thick. So mound on a mound and then sinks into itself pretty quickly. Oppression blue from Golden. I'm also using dioxazine purple from Golden. Beautiful color. And I have added to this just a, sm a little tiny bit of the Decor Sapphire, Deep Sapphire to give us that sparkly violet purple. I love really pretty stuff. So, go over there, you go back up there. I also have my Amsterdam bronze. Gorgeous. Okay. And then we also have Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And this and the bronze were actually the one that I mostly that I wanted to see if the glue would work for and I'm happy to say it's leaving very nice little mound and then disappearing into itself. Okay, so that's our 24 karat gold from Decor Americana Decor. And then I also have Amsterdam Titanium White. Okay, so tonight we're going to be using my five chamber split cup from Tracy Reed. Um, you can find their split cups at acrylicpouringtools.com. Um, this one is the one with my name on it. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> okay, we're going to layer this. We're going to put our Prussian blue on the outside chamber. And then we're going to put our dioxazine purple on the other outside chamber. Okay, I'm going to put my white in the middle. And then, just like I did in our last pour, the Tomti, the one with Nomeo, <laughs> I'm going to use my gold on one side and the bronze on the other. I really like the way that that looked. Actually, the little 12 by 12 is dry. I'll show you guys how pretty it is together, especially with the white. Just did really pretty things, so I'm very pleased with that. Okay, that's ready to go. Let me show you this one. This one was the Bordeaux Red from Arteza with the bronze and the gold, and we also used the Iridescent Pearl. And this one, the pouring medium, was the Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss mixed with Lotrol. And it's really shiny. I mean, I'm actually quite surprised what a beautiful finish it has on there. Almost looks like it's already been varnished, but it has not. Really pretty. Maybe it goes this way more. This is the one that I said I see a pine cone. <laughs> you love the curve. Then you straightened it out. Yeah, exactly. you brought it back. <laughs> see, it yeah. pays attention. Okay, so our cup is ready to go. I have some drips here from a couple of previous pours that we're going to use. Now, I want to do something a little bit different tonight. I want to do a wandering wing pour, but I want to do it in a different way. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of paint right here. And we're going to try something a little bit different. So we're going to turn this this way. Friends it's over. smiling at me now. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm actually going to prop up the canvas on my little goat friend over there. Take this a little bit. Just spread that up just a smidge. I've never done this before in this way, so 
be interesting to see what happens. We might love it, we might hate it. Okay, what I want to do is a wandering wing pour, but I kind of want to do it from one spot in the center and go around almost in a flower pattern. And then if it works, we'll turn it around and we'll do the other side too. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost. We're going to start ready, right about here. Okay. Okay, here we go. again. Okay. Do you think we should tilt it out first before we do the other side or just tilt them both at the same side? I do tilt them both at the same time. Okay. Well the only problem is, is if I turn it around now and tilt it, then that's going to move. Talk me out of it. Do the side now. I'll just do it flat. Coyotes are out. Baxter is inside the house. Do not worry. Okay, we're going to put some of this down over here. Okay, we're going to do that same thing going in that direction now. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? <laughs> I lost. Here we go. That's more like what I actually wanted. Okay. That's pretty cool. See, I like that a lot. I'm put a few more on this side. Maybe just kind of keep going over here. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's put a little bit more of the base coat on here. Just to get our edges and our sides. Alright, I'm just going to tilt this. I like that side better. So I'm going to tilt that and anchor it first. And this is one of the benefits of having the thicker paint. Is that you see how everything is moving as one cohesive piece. We don't have rivulets. We don't have one section moving faster than the other. I'm going to bring this over. And we're going to go off that corner and anchor it. I'm going to shove it back this way first for a minute. Because I don't want to lose much. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more on that corner. It's a little lube for the tilting. <laughs> uh, a dry canvas is a thirsty canvas, <laughs> as my friend Gina DeLuca says. Like a couple of uh, octopuses slap fighting, but uh, at the moment. <laughs> Hopefully, it's gonna look like a flower when I'm done. Ah. I think I'm gonna try to take a little bit of this off. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna shove it back this way again. Come down this way. 
actually just redistributing where the weight of the paint is so that I can make it go where I want it to go rather than where it wants to go. Okay. You're flying this plane. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go off this side. And we're gonna let that roll down to the other end. I don't know if this side's gonna work nearly as well in terms of what I wanted, but once I get that paint off, then I can bring this back to this side. I am liking what's happening here, especially with a little bit of negative space that's in there. take some of that bottom edge off. space or no negative space? Just a bit. A bit for balance. So in other words, leave that top corner like that? I less. focusing on what's happening at the composition up here and right now what I'm doing down there is just taking off extra paint. To the center a little bit and open up a little bit here on the edge and see if we like what that does to the composition down there in the middle. You think we should lose some of that there at the bottom, Joy? A bit. Aye. I'm just worried that if I move it all the way down there, it's going to distort my lines. Right now, do that. The lines are more important. Oh, we've already started. <laughs> it's okay. Does it look like it's moving? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it just like that. It's so funny, the Prussian looks almost greenish. Which is kind of weird. Maybe it's just because the dioxazine is so purple. But I like this. I love what's happening and I definitely want to play with that some more. With that sort of daisy flower wandering wing as if this is the center of the flower and then there's petals moving out that way but in a very abstract sort of way <laughs> i'm going to torch this real quick i'll pop any air bubbles that are in there Oh, 
Okay, this is cool. I'm happy with this. Uh, interesting how the Prussian blue is a very different color than that. Well, I guess it's not so different. All right. Um, but I like this. I like all these lines. I like the negative space in between. I like the little bit of curve there. It's pretty. So this is cool. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I'm going to try like heck to show this to you dry the day of the video. <laughs> but if it doesn't work, I will show you in the one after. Thank you all so much for being here. We'll see you real soon. Let me turn it around for you, Rachel, so you can see it the way I mean it. So this is the top. Okay. I'm just going to fix this corner because we didn't actually go over this corner. Okay, here we are a couple days later. Uh, not dry yet, <laughs> but drying, as you can see by that corner. Still looks the same. Very, very cool stuff. I really like this um, technique. I played a little bit more after we stopped rolling with that same uh, flinging, <laughs> wandering wing port, sort of. Um, but I really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun, and I'm definitely going to play with this some more. And beautiful colors in here. Beautiful lines. I like the base coat. I like the negative space. I like the bronze, and I like the gold together. Really pretty. Kind of like a wildflower. If this was the center, and then the leaves sort of spreading out from there. I definitely want to play with this some more. That's another one. And I stretch that one out a lot, but again, I love those lines. My beautiful Prussian blue. And then one more on a 10 inch round with that same technique a few times. <laughs> so this came out very, very cool. I'm really happy with this one. Um, I will show you when it's completely dry. Um, and I think that'll be awesome. So this is Wildflower. Thank you guys so much for being here with us tonight. I hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you real soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.